Hello guys and welcome back to Coldbra Park Farm. Now here we are. As you probably may have guessed, and if you've taken a look at the top right hand corner at the money, yes it has decreased. And I'll give you a reason for that. Do you guys remember the old milk tanker that I had? And uh, the one that had to be poured with the like the tractor or the Unimog. Um basically that used to get stuck up there and found it impossible to sell the milk so I bought this one fifth wheel fifth pin wheel whatever it is and also a truck so this will help us quite a lot um, because it's kinda, it gets up the hill better for a start and we may end up getting things like the low loader trailer stuff like that so that we can move equipment around a bit easier now that this episode there isn't much at the moment that we can do apart from maybe start drilling some of the fields again uh, it's my fast track 3230 there we go um, first thing I had to do clean the tractor so now you guys don't like dirty tractors and then start drilling the field. Um, the first part of this episode was kind of just be in a way tiny enough a, a bit and then the second half in a way just be drilling stuff like that. Now I have been thinking the fertilizer spreader that we currently have is quite good but I don't know I have recently installed a mod uh, it's from Giants website farming simulator website and it's for a that big Amazon self-propelled sprayer now that could be a lot of help to us because start it's fertilizer spreader. it's not the best um, like when we're doing like lime and stuff like that, spreading that on the fields. Um, yeah, it's not the best because stuff runs out quite quickly, and it's just rather not what I kind of like. So we may be buying the self-propelled spray. Uh, I will show you the cost. I believe it is this one maybe. Yeah. Um, I think it's that one. The Giants one. Their website anyway. Um, yeah I think it is. So, do we buy that and sell the fertilizer spreader there? Because we don't really need it anymore. Or do we keep the fertilizer spreader? Um, so, I am. Next episode, I will be kind of coming to the conclusion of either selling the tillager or buy and buying the self-propelled sprayer or just buying the self-propelled sprayer and buying and selling tillage sprayer I don't really want to keep them Otherwise, it's kind of a bit annoying because I know that I have extra equipment I know I'm probably never ever going to use again. So, the first field that I will be spreading, uh, not spreading, sorry. Um, 
driven is this field because it's kind of the one we always do first so why not do it first and I was going to say I'll set auto tractor off but I haven't got auto tractor because I was going to try to set up something with course play Apart from, I don't know how to use that section because I haven't actually looked at how to set it, set it up. So, I will do this part by hand. Then, probably get auto tractor and set that off doing it. But if we go around the field edge like four times, maybe that should hopefully sort it so then auto tractor could work properly because it likes to have headland and another thing this is episode 45 and we've gone quite a lot through this series I need to speak to you do you want to see another map apart from Chellington maybe another one or do you want to see me carry on this or do you want to see me get another map because it, well, if I were to get another map, that would be the end of Series 1, Series 2 to start after I finish that other map. But this has been shown loads. And I mean loads. There's possibly not much more we can do right now. Because I've done all the stuff I set out to do for this series one but if I did do a series two I'd probably um, do quite a lot off screen get everything get all the fields drilled and stuff like that maybe and then set it up so like we'll just keep the same equipment save that same save get some buy some more fields and that ready for series 2 when it will all get better again because it's currently getting slightly boring for you guys I think and if you did want to see me end this series uh, what map would you like me to go on next because like I said um, I'll tell you quite I'll tell you a bit about the multiplayer series that multiplayer series will be with Chaos Group Gaming. We will be doing uh, Lincoln Lodge Farm and the forestry part of that. So it's going to be a forestry multiplayer series, which I think quite a lot of you will enjoy because forestry, nah, I haven't touched on it at all on my channel because, in a way, I prefer doing it with multiplayer. Because some of the things I'm not very good at, other people are. But it won't be that serious. It won't be as serious as, say, now on Cobble Pack Farm. I'll have a bit of fun in that series. A bit like on every multiplayer series, have a bit of fun. And as well, guys, there is a TeamSpeak channel on Chaos Crew Gaming's TeamSpeak uh, for you. So there's a JH Gaming YouTube TeamSpeak channel where I'll probably be on there most days and just ask me some questions or something there will be a link in the description below because I think that's something that maybe benefit from is the channel where if we did something like a Q&A session or something like that quite good or something like that I don't know but it's there, go use it, link in the description. If there's any problems, put it, pop it down in the comments or contact one of the admins, either Evo J, 
at Joel McFun. They'll be able to sort it for you. Um, so that is open. And as well, you can maybe consider becoming a member of Chaos Group Gaming. As it will kind of help. And I think that's all I've got to say about that team speak. But yeah, multiplayer will be starting on Monday. And what day is it today? I think it's Thursday today. The time I release it, I think it'll be Thursday. So on Monday there will be a multiplayer episode, hopefully, if it's all been set up. And that will be every Monday, just a multiplayer episode. But we may, in fact, do quite a lot, like pre-done. So pre-record the episode by a couple of weeks maybe, because we kind of get into swinging things it's better a bit like with the multiplayer on euro truck that was all pre-recorded so that was quite good that was all pre-recorded um as well i'm thinking of setting up a huge convoy on euro truck simulated 2 and i have put something out there on scs fun dot com and fsuk so go reply to that those forum posts you have to be a member to reply uh, if you're not a member or you just don't want to log in and that uh, just pop a comment down below if you'd be interested we would be starting from london and it would be on server eu1 on euro truck simulator 2 I don't know where we'd be going, but it'd be a time for those people to drop in. Tell quite a lot of people as well, because the more people we can maybe get on that, the better it will be. Because I'd like a fair amount of people to come on there. I think a lot of people may enjoy it. Huge convoy of trucks. And trailers, maybe. Don't know, it depends. Could just be a huge convoy. Right, so bling up your trucks, stuff like that. That may even make it to an episode, which I think it probably is. Episode on my YouTube channel. So this channel. That would be an episode. Now to make this a bit easier for Auto Tractor, I think what I am going to do is kind of corner everything off slightly because then it has a lot of struggle around corners and like bits where it will get stuck. I mean you've seen what Auto Tractor has done in the past and it hasn't ended well. I think this field could be done with whole crop because we haven't got to worry about time and then that would also bring in quite a lot of money maybe for series 2 on this map if we do decide to start series 2 so that would be another source of money 
from doing that this series and then next series it will be done, ready, sold, we'll have lots of money again. I mean, we have got quite a lot of money at the moment, but not as much as I'd like. Because there's still, in fact, the combine that I'm thinking about changing and possibly buying a baler. But not the auto stacker, because I found a trailer. Which looks as if it can do round bales as well. Also, like, technically it's auto stacking, but it's not really auto stacking. But it puts them on the trailer, you drive up to it. And you may have seen it used in other people's videos. It does look like a really nice trailer. Um, so that trailer will probably be in this series or next, I don't know. That's if we do another series of this, because you guys may be bored of it. Don't know. It'd be nice to do another series. Something we can come back to where we don't have to start fresh all the time I are actually getting quite a lot of this field done so what I think I will do is have a, um, plant growth is off apparently so I'll leave that off for now uh, I'll come back to this do this field off screen because of the mower, there we go, stuff in this tank which I forgot to empty out last episode which I probably should have emptied out and then I we'll think we'll try and get this clamp up to 100% this will be the one we use from now on because that clamp should be done soon, is that? yeah that's still tipping, there we go, um, this clump is at 68% fermenting so yeah this is 97% compacted so see if we can get this up to 100% compacted so it's like less compaction later Well, have a look at placeables, because I'm thinking about maybe getting some of these greenhouses or something. Let's have a look at these. Um, they are the silos. Now I would like like a little garage or something where I just keep my machine, like the little things, like the quad bike and the mower and that in. Instead of putting them in the big shed. I don't know. I don't think I have a mod for that. Nope, I don't. So I'm looking here. That. Apparently that's really good for field work and stuff. Look at all the mods I've got loads. That forklift could come in handy at some point maybe. that mod doesn't work that well, it kind of crashes your game so I don't use that if you guys are wondering why Mars trailer, sprayers a load of different trailers different combines which are kind of good a 
whole load of different tractors. And apparently that tractor is on sale, but I will not be getting it. Um, I think I had something. That you could only find through going into this kind of search by brand section. That might be useful if we do round bales, pretty cheap as well. John Deere stuff, got quite a lot of that. Mm, that tractor looks quite good, I don't know, it may, could be Russian or something. I think it is. I think that's where, it, like, where you find them kind of tra tractors. Cars. I think they have quite a lot of that big machinery over in Russia. As well, these trailers, I tried these out because I downloaded it because I thought they would work well on the back of the quad bikes, they're not that big, but it kind of didn't work that well for me, so won't be using them. Uh, them forestry trailers, they are in the new multiplayer series that I haven't yet recorded or even set up but they will be in it I think um, don't think there's much at the moment but I was gonna try and have a look that tells us how much the cow that we're going for beef. I think it may be here. I don't know, but it's finding they're not. Because I you always used to think it was here that you'd see it. But apparently not. Hmm. Okay. And as well, um, Trucking Tuesdays. That was a couple of days ago. Hope you enjoyed that. It was quite fun to make. That will be the new video on Tuesdays, that will be a trucking video on your Truck Simulator 2, try and get that back in to the channel a bit more. Oops. Um, think what I might do now is buy that self-propelled sprayer and drive it down because that could be useful soon. bought this. So here we go. It's a Pantera 4502. Working beacons. Brake lights, indicators, I think, yep. Although they look a bit high. Nope, that's where they're meant to be. Um reversing lights as well. So also has a top speed of 32 which is a lot faster than the cars on here so we'll be fine. Let's drive this down. Or up should I say. Working mirrors as well, quite useful.
I don't know what working speed this has, but I assume it's fairly quick. Remember I did used to like driving this through the fields. A bit nicer than a tractor. It looks a bit nicer than the tractor with the sprayer on the back. As well, only front wheel drive, which is nice. Because I think it used to have rear axle drive as well, which I wasn't a huge fan of. It's a bit like driving on the articulated T9s or the quad track. It used to be a bit of a pain. So I will leave the decision up to you guys. What do you want me to do? Sell the fertilizer spreader or keep it? Um, leave it up to you. But we will be doing quite a lot of these fields in whole crop as well. Which is partly why I bought the sprayer. Because it increases yield and therefore brings us slightly bit more money I think. Or more of the crop. I don't know how it quite works. But I think if I can, that's not going to fit in that shirt, I don't think. If I can, I'll try to show you the working width of it. That's like the first set of arms that goes out. That's the second. It is quite a big working whip. You don't see this from, you don't see that much on the uh, tillage filler. Well, working hydraulics on the back. Go closer to the ground, literally almost touching the ground. Or it can go really high and when you want to fold it up. So fold it back up again. I also believe it has these are yep collision type thing. Really folded up the shed with this. Bit of a pain if I did. And this will be living in that little spot there. I used to keep the quad bike and Land Rover and Uniwag and all that kind of stuff. We'll just live in there, out the way then. It won't be something we use that often, but when we do use it, it will be used to its full capacity and potential. See there, Amazon, Amazon, don't know how you say it. Wheels practically as big as the person in the game. So yeah, uh, this combine as well may be sold at some point to get the New Holland. Because that New Holland could come in handy at times because, I don't know, it may have big capacity. So. Yep, it's got bigger capacity. I don't know about the headers though, because I was using that one, which is 13.7 meters, and this one is 13.7. Headers won't be the different, but uh, working like potential kind of it will be better because it has a bigger capacity. Therefore, it needs to be unloaded less. Crone, we have that, which is very good. All the headers for the crown, we have them. Trailer for crown, we have that. Potato harvest in, we may do some of that in series 2 if there is one. And uh, maize might do that as well. Um, can't really think of much else to say. So, has this got any further? 70%, it's gone up 2% in half an hour so it's still fairly slow so that probably if there is series 2 or if you guys want me to carry on doing this that will be something we feed the cows 
And I don't know, um, this mixer wagon and the straw blower, should I sell it? Because I could get this feeder wagon, which has, I don't know, it's got smaller capacity though, but it is self propelled. Um, so I don't know, do you want me to sell them and get the self propelled one? Or keep it. Forest equipment, you probably see a lot of that in the multiplayer episodes. Ten handlers, we have all them. Skid steer, we used to have one. Um, so, let's get back to seeding. I kind of think we could possibly get a full silage clamp at the biogas if we did this whole crop. Did that field there to the right, field 16 or 17? 17. If we did that field whole crop, could possibly get whole silage clamp out of that maybe. And other fields whole crop. Nice if we did, that bring in loads of money. I think here, this is where it'll struggle on auto tractor, trying to turn around here when we set it off. So I only cleaned that tractor like half an hour ago, not even that. We'll just go straight up here, cause... If I get all of that kind of done, there, yeah. then, I don't know, I'll get a fair amount of this drilled right now, so, hmm. We'll go down here, and then turn around and go back up again, try and get around the outside done a bit more. I hope you guys are enjoying the Chellington because that is tomorrow as well and well, yesterday that was the first episode on the new version so that was quite good and yeah I think that's all I've got to say about Chellington I think this possibly would be the better option to just go straight down there. Try and pretty much chop off all of that field there. All of that top half up there that doesn't always find the easiest sort of tractor. Put it into reverse then. Um, drive back up here, then I will finish this whole thing, this whole field off screen. And yeah, so it's the end of the episode here, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to go check out the team speed, there will be a link 
in the description, maybe an annotation around here somewhere of the channel name and it hasn't got a password on it so you just feel free to join TeamSpeak3 is what it's on and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already or like this video comment and if you didn't like it dislike and tell me why so we can make it better and share this video so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you tomorrow with chellington